I'm going to be making seared scallops, cauliflower puree, olive oil poached baby radishes, a little dice of Granny Smith apple with some bacon and dill oil. A portion is three scallops and I want a baby radish for each one of those. These little guys, I am going to poach gently in olive oil. I'm gonna trim these very carefully right up by the edge. So we're gonna put it right in our oil. So I'm putting in some garlic in here. I'm gonna put in some salt. I'm just gonna add two sprigs of thyme. I'm going to put this on a really kind of low flame. I don't wanna see any bubbles. This is just sitting in a hot bath. Let's talk about making an herb oil. You know, we salt our water. We're gonna take this. I'm going to blanch it just really quickly and then I'm gonna shock it so it stays beautifully green. Give it a little squeeze. Just kind of give it a coarse chop to get it started. It's a big deal. All right, so I'm gonna put this in there. All right, look at how pretty, right? So the puree of the solids is gonna stay in my mesh strainer and I have this beautiful green oil to use for my plate. We are going to make a cauliflower puree, but then we are going to take other pieces of the cauliflower and we're gonna make really pretty little thin slices. We're gonna to toss them in olive oil and salt and we're gonna roast them. I'm also going to throw one potato in here. What it's gonna do is just give our cauliflower puree a little bit more unctuousness, a little bit more body, a smoother puree. Yay. Everything's better with bacon. Yes. I am just going to cut this crosswise in about one quarter inch wide. So my pan, give it a little bit of encouragement, you know, a little um, oil to get it started. Back to our cauliflower. I see this lovely cross section. I'm like, hello, pretty. Seasoning. We're gonna throw these guys in the oven. All right, so feeling good about that. All right, let all that water drain out. Put this right in here, heavy cream, that I'm gonna put in there, and I'm just gonna heat it up. All right. So, Parmesan cheese. The texture is really nice and silky. It's almost like a little bit fluffy. My bacon, beautifully sort of golden, right? I've just taken it off the fire. Now, let's just take a little stock of where we are. I have my cauliflower puree ready. I have my herb oil ready. I have my bacon ready. My radishes standing by and cauliflower trees are in the oven. All right, so you know what? We're gonna have these guys hang out here. Paper towel. Let's take my bacon out of there and I'm gonna blot it and I'm gonna just have them hang out on a paper towel. I'm going to dice my apple, cut the cheek off the apple. So this part we can say thank you for coming. Thin slices, all the same size. So I have slices. What am I gonna do now? Sticks. Sticks, Sticks. Sticks. thank you. And then, what am I gonna do? Dices. Dices. So, I am going to just give a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there. Now, yeah. all right, just a shallot. I'm gonna dice very quickly. Start from the back of the knife and just slide it through and you will feel much safer and much less scared about um, doing that middle cut. Dry diver scallops. Now, I'm patting them dry. Turn them over and we're gonna pat them dry again. A coating of oil and turn our burner on. All right, we need this to be hot. All right, so I have my beautifully dry scallops. I am gonna salt them the second before I put them in the pan. Because what does salt do? Take the moisture. Out. The yeah. moisture, and I just patted them dry, right? I don't want moisture on here because that will prevent browning. All right, you see how I'm seasoning? All right, you hear that? Oh yeah. Right, it's kind of funny.
And see, everyone has room around them. So, let's take a look, see where we are. So, like, done. You feel it. When you feel like it's bouncy, you know, we have a really nice brown on one side. Okay. Scallops are done. My shallots, I want to sweat. So we're gonna put that in the pan. We're gonna give it some salt and we're gonna stir it around. Then when those are where they need to go, it off. Apples and the vinegar right in there. I'm taking a decent sized spoonful. Let it fall off the tip. Make a puddle. Back of the spoon. All right, you wanna make a schmear. And I'm doing it like right around, way around the edge of the plate. I'm gonna do some chives. You guys don't need very much of anything. I'm like, ah. Oh. That just made it look like so much prettier, didn't it? You're like, all right, it's like a little confetti of um, shallots and apples and now chives all in one spot. Let's top this guy with a little bit of bacon, huh? But I want it right on top. Now, are we done yet? No, what about our little radishes? So these guys are in oil, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want them to be dripping with oil, but we don't want to rub all that oil off. All right, so now. Now have these little guys right in front. So it's like a little lovely radish hanging out underneath our cauliflower tree. our dill oil. I'm putting my finger on the top of this because that can really help me control a few drops on top of each scallop. But then we'll have it like maybe running down the side a little bit. Very last thing that we are going to finish with, ta -da, ta da caviar. Just a little, a punctuation mark on top. And right in, the center. All right, you wanna try? It's really good, it's tasty. It's mm -hmm. so good. It's so good. There's like every in texture going on there. Mm.